Hi, YouTube. We Hi, see you. Hi, YouTube. We see you. Okay. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Hit that smash the like button. Smash right? it. Is that Sm I don't know what smash, smash the sub <laughs> subscribe, like it. Subscribe share, and like comment, a share subscribe. it. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Uh, welcome in everybody. Uh, we are doing a signing show today, an autograph signing show. Um, thank you everybody that has been um, asking me to do that. The shop is closed because we want to be able to catch up and we, we're conscious of time. Um, I'm also filming all of next week and we've got MCM next week as well. So we, don't, we can't sign next week. We're going to sign the, the, immediately the day after I finish MCM. Um, we'll be carrying on throughout you know, the November until we get it done. Um, my yeah. voice is a little bit fuckerooned. As you can hear it, it's a little bit fucked. I'm having to be very, very careful uh, with my voice at the moment. So you may forgive me if I don't do much in terms of that voice work stuff, only because it's a little fucker rude. Um, so I'm trying to be very conscious of that and be very good about that. So apologies if it sounds a little husky. I like fucker rude. Fucker rude's a good I'm, word. I'm, I'm loving it, but also but people I say it for, an, and for one generation, at least just one generation, it becomes a real thing. Fuckerood. There you go. Let's make fuckerood. it happen. Let's make it happen. You've heard it here, folks. Fuckerood. Um MB Games. Exactly right. We've got some new stuff that we're going to be doing over the next couple of months as well. Tom and I have been busy thinking of fun new ideas. And we've got something which we're not going to yeah. talk about just yet, but we were talking about today, uh, which is really cool and fun. And Mr. Klim is going to help us out with that as well. And that's yeah. something we're going to talk about probably soon, but not just yet. Yes. Um, I'm also working on new projects which I will not be talking about um, there's some new stuff coming out next year which is going to be really fun as well and there's other news to come in the next couple of months which is very exciting and um, yay and thanks everybody I'm, I hope everybody's enjoying that's completely very good I hope everybody is enjoying uh, the playthroughs it is a if you haven't played the game if you want to play the game I really urge you to play the game if you have played the game and you want more I urge you to explore the world of Dungeons and Dragons Try the tabletop thing. It's fucking yes. awesome. that I got introduced to it in a quiet room after school, and it felt very much like I was stepping into like what is what is this mystical thing they're doing? <laughs> and it was, it's called Dungeons and Dragons. So should I not tell anybody? <laughs> it was really interesting. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so how, what do we do? I only played role play games at that point, but it was very much like I felt like I just joined a secret society. It was fucking brilliant. Right. So, so very quickly, while well, we've got everybody's attention. Um, thank you everybody that's been sending such amazing messages to me in various ways and means. It's from Layla. And I know that a lot of people in the cast are getting, well, all the people in the cast are getting loads of lovely messages. Um, it means a lot to hear about people's reactions to the game and that you're having such a great time and that our stories that we got to act that we did not write that you know we got to act the amazing writers at Larian, amazing directors with pits that we worked at the amazing the amazing Larian studios um created these wonderful stories it means a lot to hear that so many people were moved and entertained by it so for me personally thank you and I, I know the cast feel exactly the same way but uh, this is a personal thank you from me um it's amazing to hear um so many stories also so many people identified um, I felt seen by so many aspects of all the different character stories. And that that is something that I don't think any of us necessarily predicted will happen. It's very touching and it's really humbling. And thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Uh, I get a lot of people coming up to me with very specific things and uh, it's really moving. So thank you very much. I appreciate, you know, if you see me out in the wild, do say hi. It's really nice to chat about your experiences and I, I like it. So there you go. This is, so my voice is fucked. This is for, I'm very like this right now. Hi, Tom. Would you like some Hello. ASMR? Hello. I can just, I can talk about a tickliness on my throat. Brace <laughs> yourself, my friend, because we have many hours of this. We have many hours to get through. Libation, yeah. sir. Libation. We're gentlemen yeah. streamers, after all. We need libation. We need a good libation. Fine libation. <laughs> yes, we do. Fucking love old English words. Libation. <laughs> Or constitutional, which means just to walk off the shitloads of food you've just eaten. <laughs> oh, I've got another sweet little message from Lucky Librarian. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, no, chat. Don't, oh, Sorry, yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Librarian says, thanks for bringing a character to life. That makes you think hard about what you want out of life. Oh, wow. Well. You're being a healing little imp. A oh, healing little you. imp. Thank you. He is a healing little imp. Yeah. He's a scamp. 
<laughs> he's a scamp. scamp. Tom. A real scamp. He's a little scamp. Back in scamp mode, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he's not he's not evil he's just a little scamp he's rambunctious is what he is yeah <laughs> your honor he's just rambunctious your honor <laughs> <laughs> nith my little guy my scrunkly what's a scrunkly scrunkly yeah what's that is that like a scrunchy mm, cuddly snuggly thing? i guess so yes Anyway, this uh, hey, can I get something sweet and romantic, and a doodle? Uh, love his cat, love his character so much. Thank you for making him the best ever. It wasn't just me. It takes a, a massive village of awesomely talented people, like the writers, directors, Larian, and everybody. I was just a small part of that. But thank you very much. I appreciate you enormously. So thanks, Nith. This is for Nith, my little guy, my little guy, my scrunchly. Hey. He's that, was nearly, that was nearly Christopher Walken. That was nearly Chris Walken. No. I was going a little Christopher Walken. <laughs> but my voice won't sustain. So don't do it. Don't do it. Don't mess your voice. <laughs> um. Next up is for Ash with no note. So if there's an Ash who wanted uh, this one for my autograph to go on. Uh, if there's no note, so I don't know what to do. I do know what to do. I can go mad and crazy. Hi, folks. Welcome back. So I have managed to get the the, the little mocap room <laughs> euphemism. <laughs> there you go. Welcome back in. And we have our guest with us, one of our, our my sister from another mister. Uh, we have a lovely guest <laughs> of ours called Blue Owls Medic. Welcome in, Blue. How are you doing? Hi, good. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi, and I've been having a blast on the stream. Yeah, it's been hi, fun, man. It's been a good one. I mean, good time. So if you don't know who Blue Owls Medic is, Blue Owls is amazing. And is also our genuine real life friends that we, we know in real life. We, we've hugged. Like we've, we've, we've hugged we, more we've, than once. More than I've once. Hugged Tom. We've hugged Tom. Yes, we've hugged me. We've physical contact has occurred. We understand each other on an animal smell level. <laughs> we know what each other smells like. Wow, this That's is getting Tom's weird. Smell. It's not weird. It's weird just, it's now. not weird. It's animal. I know what Tom's. I know what you smell. I know your musk, Tom. I know your musk. <laughs> my, that's another t. That's a t-shirt. I know your musk. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is our friend Blue and Blue. Thank you very much, Blue. You're amazing, and you've helped us uh, create what is essentially just a good way for me and Tom to hang out during a pandemic into something very beautiful. I'm such an enabler. This you're is an enabler, enabler behavior. You're, a, you're an enabler of wholesomeism. Or something like that. Awesomeism. 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 Congrats on the fantastic success with Astari. You've given him so much personality. We talk a lot about the trauma, but he's also so goddamn funny. Thank to you, you both, you have the great work. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you. I had, I, and that is down to Stephen Rooney, the amazing writer from Larian, and also the. <laughs> other writers that contributed to Astari as well. It's like every couple of days before i get a script um sorry every couple of days before i did the volume work i get the script and i go through like maybe a thousand lines or something and honestly the number of times actually i just laughed out loud it was just really funny and also gave me such great ideas about what i could do with a line and inspiration and then i come in and do it and often the first take i would prep the directors by saying i've got an idea you're gonna hate it but i'm gonna do Anyway, and I have to say, gratefully to the directors at Pitstop, the wonderful directors that I work with, like Kirsty Gilmore, uh, Beth Park, Tilly Steele, like loads of loads of people. There's loads of directors I work with. Uh, great, all of them great. They usually let me get away with it. <laughs> usually, not always, not always. Sometimes not. But occasionally, most of the time they would. This is for Sophia. Adore your work. Can I have a romantic line with a bit of spice and a darling at the end, and maybe a small gustarian. Absolutely. So we want a romantic line with a little, little soupçon of spice, a little sprinkling of spice at the end of that romantic line, please, for Sophia. Um, I will also do Gustar in. Loving these Logitech uh, microphones and camera, eh, Tom? Yeah. Oh, yeah, know. that was very that was awesome of them. That was very, very awesome. awesome. So thank you very much again, Logitech. That was very cool. And was, well, not even, we didn't even ask for it. They just approached it. It was very nice of them. Very cool. Yes. 
Yeah, no, they totally, they just, you know, and we, and also we should also point out we are not obliged to mention it at all. No, not like, at all. We're just doing because we, we're really just doing because we're really thankful. Like this they didn't like, say this isn't like I mean, on the hour, us. Tom. We've got to do the thing now. It's the hour. No, we just we're mentioning because we thought it was pretty cool. Or something. I've got a hot key on my on my keypad that just says lo- mention Logitech. <laughs> you, um, you just fire off a text <laughs> message. It's no, like, we'll do the thing. <laughs> No, we don't. Have, no, this is all. Uh, this is all totally, totally is, just yeah, yeah. because we were pulled over by their really cool. lovely generosity. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, this is a message from Occult Cake. Uh, mm-hmm. They say, "Hi, Neil and Tom. Just want to say I love both of your work. Been having a tough time in life lately, but have Sorry, received David. much joy from the BG three playthroughs and appreciate the community. Thank you both for being you. Um, You're very welcome, Mr. Sphere." I would not know how to be anyone else, uh, but thank, thank you. you. I'm glad. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Glad um, to hear that's the, and this is the point of all of this that we're doing this for is to give people a time out and to, in a good way and to be able to connect with other people, maybe find some solace away from whatever you're dealing with and have fun. And remember that it's supposed to be fun. Life is difficult for many people and not usually not their own fault. It's just it's, life's tough. So if you can find solace in having fun in a community that is positive, that's cool, I think, as a human being. That's a wonderful experience to be able to have. So thank you very much. I'm really glad that our our, our formula is working. Um, yeah, so thank you. And that's also to do with the mods. So huge shout out to the mods for helping keep this a safe, happy, positive space um, yes. for everybody, and regardless of who you are, whom you love, however you identify. You are all welcome. So thank you very much indeed. Um, also, somebody sent me um, a message, which I can't read out uh, as it's a, a video message on this thing, um, which um, is private. So I'm going to just listen to that first, but I'm going to do it off microphone if that's cool. So you take it away if that's all right with you. Do it. I. This is just something that's been on my mind. And I'm just curious, just as a, another or as a writer. How yeah. often do you think about the Roman Empire? Do you think about the Roman Empire very often? <laughs> it's no, I don't think about the Roman Empire much at all. I have to say, is this um, like I've heard this whole thing on Twitter about all guys think about is the Roman Empire. Is that a reference to that? You knew. I didn't know if you knew. But answer answer the question. You don't think about it. <laughs> I don't think about it at all. I I. I, I don't thought you might have you strike me as a roman empire guy at all i'm not really i'm not really i'm trying to think if there's any history i would be i'm more of a tudors kind of guy uh, <laughs> um are you uh i don't know i don't know no is hey, the answer back back, back back what happened what happened uh, just wrote, we were talking about the Roman Empire and how often we think about the Roman Empire. I left for ten seconds. You start talking about the Roman Empire. Okay. Cool. Yeah, do you, do you ever think about it? Does it I, ever come I up? I think in your about thoughts? the Roman Empire often. Do you? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. I mean, I know the Roman Empire. I know a lot about the Roman Empire. I don't often drift away and think, but but the Roman Empire <laughs> just drift into <laughs> that thought process. Of, but Augustus, who was the I guess self-appointed during his <laughs> lifetime, then had Claudius, who essentially was an imbecile, but somehow managed to scoot through everything because he was so stupid and nobody paid him attention and everybody dismissed him, became one of the greatest empires, emperors that, that Rome ever had. I don't drift into those thoughts as a natural occurrence. So how are we here? <laughs> you know a lot about the Roman Empire. I know empire. a shit ton about yes, the Roman Empire. The Roman empire I know a shit ton about it. I just don't drift there often. So how are we here now? Can you Sorry. please walk me through the process? No, how just... 20 seconds of me listening to a great message of an opera singer called Emily, who's fantastic, who just played me some of their song they made about Astarian, to the Roman Empire when I came back in. How did this happen? I don't know. I don't know. It just happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens Ooh. when you leave me and Tom in a room That's what happens. for 20 seconds. That's why I don't leave you alone. Usually I'm listening in going, hang on a second, time out. I didn't do that this time. I just let you be free. You were like organic, you're free range Tom and Blue right now. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say that as a, 
if, if you listen to my if you if you watch any of my streams you'll know i'm a greek mythology guy that's greek my mythology roman empire. Rocks. Greek i'm greek mythology. yeah i'm a greek mythology guy not yeah. a roman empire guy yeah man. There you go. digging it you see i know a lot about the history of the roman empire but i'm with you greek mythology fucking rocks that was my gateway into role play it was, like, yeah, it was my gateway into yeah. like horror and monsters and probably role play as well, actually. Um, oh, that's cool. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. I was into it when I was really young. This is from Vineapple. I'm loving this one. Hey, Tom and Neil, I wanted to say thank you. Thanks for everything that both of you do. I've managed to learn so much about myself with VG3 and making friends oh, wow. cool. through here. It means the world, especially as I walk down the aisle tomorrow. Get the fuck Dude, out. Good, good, good. Dude really? Thank you again. Much love. Much love to you, Vineapple. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're walking down. Wait, what are you walking the dark? You you cosplaying the aisle? <laughs> you cosplaying the aisle? Tell me that uh, cosplaying the aisle. Congratulations, I, by the way. Yeah, that's amazing. Congratulations. I mean, I, I, I would, I that would be even better. But cosplay the maybe aisle. not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Huge congratulations from all of us. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yes. Huge congrats. Yeah. Very cool. Good luck. Remember, it's I do, I not I don't. Right? Just <laughs> get that right. I do. <laughs> Just keep that. Please it's yourself. Not because it's like driving on the left, driving on the right. You know, if you go into like a, a country that, that drives on the opposite side of the road, that mantra, I'm driving on the left now. Same thing with weddings. I do. No, I don't. Just, if, just you take it or leave it. Just a bit of advice. Oh, yeah, that, that one. Of course, what fun. Yeah, yeah. Of course, what fun. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah, it's really good. I got, I got that. I got that. But then I went back. Never started <laughs> excited. I didn't want to handle the disapproval. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a, i think from what i understand about the mechanics it might be quite a substantial disapproval as well because he really does not like clowns <laughs> and the idea of is him it, being forced into audience participation is so severe is it probably, the clown or is it the i thought I it was it's, like getting in front it, of an audience it's i think it's the humiliation i feel it's the humiliation of being made a spectacle oh and the whole yeah. clown thing and it's just like no <laughs> And so the fact you force him to do it. Yeah, and he doesn't want to do it. And the fact that you tell him he has to is a big, like, a big We're not going to talk too much about this. It's only a minor moment, and it's been all over the internet, so I'm pretty sure it's okay to talk about it. We don't want to talk. It's not a spoiler. There's nothing nothing great. We're not going to tell you what else happens in the scene, but it's just a minor moment. But it is very, very, very funny. I remember I remember I remember reading it and I I knew it was one of those moments where I knew exactly what I was going to do with the line. And uh, I can't remember which director it was now, sorry. But I remember them laughing a lot on the first take and went, yep, pretty much nailed it on the first take. And then Ray Mueller, thank you for thank your you. donation. Starting d d session with friends during the pandemic. Loved y'all playing D&D rollers. You're so, so cool. into it, it's heartwarming. <laughs> oh, dude, I would give anything to be able to do another, another D&D one shot. As a star, I yeah. bet it's fun because I th- I feel like you're typically the DM, so being able to be a player must be really fun too to see that Dude, side of it. I haven't, I haven't. I'm going to tell you something truthfully. Yeah. Apart from one one little thing that I did with a friend of mine called Steve, Doctor Steve. Apart from that one time, which was like I don't even know, maybe like eight years ago for one once afternoon session. That he and I just fucked around and played a little um little role play, uh TTRPG and D it was D D actually. We played a D D one shot thing just together. He was my DM, I was a player. Apart from that one time, I haven't been a player in a role play game for something like I don't know, man. I'm trying to work it out. 27, 28 years. I've always been the GM or DM. Like for yeah, years forever and years DM. And years. Yeah, forever DM. <laughs> I like it as well. I really enjoy it, but it was a, such a kick to be a player again. That was amazing. So, yeah. and, and, and deeply appropriate. I got to play D and D again with Astarian as a player. That was just fucking wah, amazing. <laughs> you please write some sweet missive. A sweet missive. Ooh. That's a lovely Ooh. time. A sweet missive. You're gonna help me out with a sweet missive there, Tom. A little 
a little sweet missive, a little, a little, mm. a little, sweet some, a little yieldy something, something. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm missing is it's a little yeah, I know. It's a little yieldy something something <laughs> I love it um so Sitilla uh, suggests little love whatever could be the matter that's a good um, so I just broke myself <laughs> I know <laughs> a little yieldy something something I'm really proud of that I'm really <laughs> proud of that one it's really funny. <laughs> I have a notorious history for just reading it out without without monitoring it first. And then, like, what was it? Wasn't it somebody's wife or something or fiance? Or it was a yep. gift for their wife. And it was it was <laughs> yeah. literally at the very end of the message, by the way, this is a surprise. This is a secret. Thank it's you for talking. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so, and the worst thing was they were in. Chat. Yeah, they were in chat. They the were person who it was for chat. Was, was in chat. chat. Going, oh my oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> it was so stupid. So here we are, folks. Please, if it's a surprise, if you want me to just obfuscate the message, that's cool. You gotta fucking tell me. So I'll just read it as I see it. So something sweet and sassy. I'm going to write surprise first, and then we'll do <laughs> surprise. <laughs> and now we need a sweet and sassy message. I get afterwards. I'm so tired. Oh Jesus, that was great. Sweet and I'm I'm just admiring the view. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have the raw. That's it. That's what we end up with. Rawr. Okay. Raw. Okay. That's it. That's what they get. <laughs> Amazing. That's your present surprise. <laughs> well, okay. That's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun today. Um, that's been great. Thank you very yeah. much, everybody, GG. for turning up. We're now calling. <laughs> yeah, GG indeed. Calling the stream here, folks. We're going to be back tomorrow. Tom and I are doing a straight playthrough. Um, so what I mean by that is no guess. It's just straightforward playthrough. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be having a lot of fun with that. And then we're going to be back on Sunday for a much longer stream. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Much love, everybody. See you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.